Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I'm really excited about today. I'm excited about every session that we do. And this one is actually right up my alley. I love cutting edge technology for real estate agents because it's really what gave me the edge when I hit the ground running way back. And to me, it's way back 2007. I mean, technology just wasn't there. And, and the things I was able to do was light years ahead of what most agents were up to. And these companies that we're going to showcase today, they're helping current agents do exactly that. So we've got three companies that I have. I had to pre-record these interviews because you can imagine scheduling three different companies. Two of them um, are Australian based. So that was a time zone change in itself. So I pre-recorded the three different interviews and we're going to watch the video. And then if you have questions, we'll address the questions because we have the co-hosts on here as well. So I'm going to... Uh, Cover Agentology is the first one that we're going to cover. They help real estate agents with converting their leads, which is a number, to me, one of the number one pain points most agents have. So they actually help you put your lead conversion on autopilot, and it is extremely cost effective. Um, so if you're paying for internet leads, I don't see why you wouldn't want to use this program unless it was um, not legal in your, your area. So that's something you don't want to go over with Agentology about and your uh, broker owner uh, and manager. But if it is available in your area, 100% beyond that. Box Brownie is a company that does photography. And you can use the photography from your photographer or you can use the photography from your own iPhone and you can enhance the photos. And they did a live demo for us. So they're going to show us how that works. And it is literally night and day between the photos. And then uh, Jiggler, which is Ray, you just heard his voice. So uh, Jiggler is on here as well. It's kind of like um, Canva. You know how Canva is drag and drop editing for your marketing materials, only it's real estate specific. And they have our, all the templates already done for you. So with Canva, it's kind of like looking at a blank canvas. But with uh, Jiggler, it's actually the canvas is already done for you. You just have to edit the photo, your logo, um, and the basic content. And you can also do images from scratch as well. So we're going to start off. I did three pre-recorded demos. They're about 20 minutes each. I think in total, we're going to be running about an hour and five to an hour and 10 minutes in time today. And I want to start off with Agentology. So I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to hit play on the video. Hey, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us today. Now, I'm really excited because you've been nominated as an Innovator Award for the real estate technology space. And I was just curious, can you just share with our agents basically who you are and what you do and the core function of how you serve the community? Absolutely, Danny. And, and really thankful, obviously, that um, we've been nominated and we're excited to kind of share a little more about Agentology. So uh, really the core of Agentology, it's a premier ISA service. So we have highly trained inside sales associates who actually help to engage and qualify your leads uh, within two to five minutes of those leads being generated. Really our goal is to screen them and uh, essentially set an appointment for you and, and really the agent to have a conversation, kind of take those next steps. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, now, I'm assuming you have a PowerPoint that we can go through? Or are we looking at it right now? Yeah, we're looking at it actually right now. We can kind of just jump in. Yeah, okay, right on. I didn't even know that. So uh, when you say inside sales, is it through instant chat, text messaging, or calling? Or yeah, great question. We're actually handling inbound leads. So let's say an agent is generating leads through, say, the Zillow platform. We connect to Zillow so that we grab those leads immediately. And the mm -hmm. moment they come in, we uh, we respond within two to five minutes. Now, when you say respond, is it a, a direct phone call to them or a text or email? Yeah, but there is a specific cadence based on actually when that lead comes in. What's cool is we operate 24-7 around the clock. We're here in the States. So it all depends, our cadence really all depends on when actually that lead does come in. But typically, yes, we always begin with a phone call just because that does have the highest conversion rate. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. And um, is there a common concern people have? Because I know in some parts, like we have a mixed audience of Canadians and U.S. And I know even in certain parts of the U.S., but especially Canada, um, you have to be licensed to call people. Um, I don't know if you guys have those. Is there a common concern with that? 
you know, uh, a lot of the times that is brought up, but what's great, we, you know, we of course abide by RESPA. So we, we don't go further than we are able to, if you will. So we know basically the line that we can go up to. We don't answer specific questions about the property. Our goal is really just to screen that lead and gather yeah. information really on them rather than provide information about, you know, the property or, or MLS features or anything like that. Okay, cool. And anybody who is watching this video, if you are interested uh, and unsure if it'll work, connect with your broker owner or manager and or call agent OG Direct and they can answer your questions. But I'd love to see an overview of because it sounds interesting. It's definitely a pain point that we all have. So, you know, and it, it really is. And, and what you're looking at now is actually David and Avi. They are the co-founders. So David uh, initially was a broker back in the day in 2002. As you see, uh, his brother Avi has really been on the tech side of things. Um, lots of social media and, and marketing um, deals from, from his history. And so they kind of teamed, uh, teamed up in 2012 realized the, this issue, it is a pain point, as you just mentioned. And so in 2014, Agentology was actually born. So they realized the need, uh, obviously, for speed to lead as well as, you know, helping agents save time by not having to contact these leads. And so we'll kind of, we'll jump in, you know, here are some stats for you. You know, we, we're big on analytics. So we actually track when these leads come through, um, how, you know, viable they are based on the times that they do come through. So these are just some stats that you can look over through. Um, really, the, the biggest days are, are, you know, over the weekends, obviously, and then later in the week. And really what's funny, what we found, you know, 45% don't even receive a phone call. I mean, these the agents and brokers, I mean, they pay so much money for these leads and they're actually not even getting a phone call. Oh so my God, it makes no sense. Um, back in the day, people used to use instant chat, like when that first hit the market. And I couldn't believe how many people had it turned on and weren't even responding. I'm like, what? It's bizarre. I mean, it's it's money down the drain. So we, we obviously we're finding that we're actually increasing conversion rates up to 300%. And I can kind of explain that number as as we proceed here. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. So basically, how how it all works. You know, we're we're going to call, like I said, that lead within five minutes. And generally, we get to the lead on average within 2.2 minutes. Obviously, speed to leads incredibly important here. You know, it's, it's obviously, it's tough to reach these leads too. So, you, you know, agents are out showing property, they're meeting appraisers, they're meeting inspectors, and they have day-to-day -day stuff going on. No agent has enough time to really sit by the phone all day long. And, you know, since times have changed, no, you know, leads aren't walking into your office anymore. They're searching online all hours of the night. So that's honestly why Agentology exists, is to capture that, you know, those leads that come through that late and so here's what we do it's, it's kind of a look into our cadence here we do call within five minutes generally it's between 9 a.m and 8 p.m we're always going to start with a double dial as well we found that to be pretty um obviously the the best route and the highest conversion if you will so if they don't answer the calls we're, we're going to immediately send out a text and so Wait, obviously what's the double dial I mean you call them back to back twice like exactly so we're calling from the same line, but it's just a double dial. You know, oftentimes, you know, think about it, you know, when a friend calls or something and you don't answer because you're kind of busy, they call back. You're like, well, this seems like somewhat important. So I guess <laughs> this type around. I wouldn't call it trickery, but it, it certainly yeah. is. I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So let me jump ahead here. This is kind of a further, you know, or more in-depth look into the cadence here. Uh, day one, there's always three attempts. That double dial, that's, that is two attempts, and then we'll, we'll shoot out that text. Again, as they kind of mentioned at the top of the call, you know, a lot of, a lot of these um, leads come in at different hours of the day. So, of course, our cadence all depends on that. So, if it is, let's say the lead comes in at 8 in the morning, we will hit them three different times that day. Obviously, day two, it's two attempts and so on. Day three, two attempts. We found that by the fifth day, you know, it's likely that they've seen our texts, they've seen our phone calls, and it's likely that they're not that serious. And I'll show you exactly the percentage breakdown as, as to our response rates. For yeah. each attempt, and we can jump in there. Um, so as I mentioned too, we're U.S. based. We're here in San Diego. So it's, it's, it's extremely important. You know, we're a big fan of, of being here and agents are as well. There's, there's really no language barriers here by not using outsourcing, if you will. Uh, it's, it's very effective. We brand you as well, which is really important. So all of our ISAs, by the way, they reach out 
on behalf of the agent. And they appear as actually the agent's assistant, which is really neat. And they all actually go by Alex, oddly enough. It's uh, gender neutral. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it works across the board. And on that handoff, too, that agent can always reference Alex as, you know, their assistant, if you will. So that handoff is extremely smooth. And I, I mean this literally, we're 24-7, 365. So all around the clock, holidays, weekends, um, you know, it's a fun environment here. So there's, you know, fully stocked kitchen, latte machines and snacks. And it's, it's a really fun environment, a fun culture. So these guys are really well taken care of. They are professionally trained, you know, um, actually by former Tom Ferry coaches and, and homes.com, Keller Williams. All of our leadership has been in the industry for decades and really had their hand in writing the scripts and, and training our ISAs. We're up to, gosh, about 90 now. And so they're, they're, they're all great. They all go by Alex, like I said. <laughs> and so as, as with that many ISAs, clearly we're 100% we're human powered, which is really nice. That's awesome. So basically here are some stats here. I, I mentioned I'd kind of break down the percentages for you. So on the first call, 22% are actually answering. Second, 15. First text, we get a response. We get a 17% response. Uh, basically, here's the breakdown, really. 54% of the leads, really, they actually do engage with us in five minutes, whether that be, oh, hey, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm open to a phone call, or they respond to the text, or they even say, hey, you know, I'm busy at the moment. Can you call me later? So it's a significant number that actually responds in the first five minutes, as you see. 68% obviously in 24 hours, and we are actually able to engage. Uh, this number is actually 77%. So 77% response rate uh, for all of the leads across the nation is, is obviously quite good. And it really has a lot to do with our cadence, our methods, and how many times we actually reach out. Does all of that make sense so far? Yeah, and like those numbers aside are great. Now, when a person, when they call, what phone number are they calling from? Does it show like on the um, ID, like phone ID? Yeah. yeah, and that's a great question. We actually do use a local dialer. Um, of course, all of us, and you know, that probably involves both Canada and, and you know, in the U.S., you know, you're more open to answering a local number, right, as opposed to something yeah. many states away. So we're always going to use a local dialer. And, uh, you know, it's going to obviously match their area code to whatever number they provided, which is, which is nice. Cool. And I can see we're going to go through some of the CRMs that converts with, uh, integrates with, which is most of them. Does it also integrate with uh, Zapier or Zapier by any chance? It does. And Zapier is one of our favorite tools. You know, it's great for Facebook, obviously pulling that leads information out, out of Facebook, kind of creating zaps and different triggers. So absolutely, we are compatible. And these are just uh, just a few of them, to be honest. So we have many, many more that we're, we're actually working with and developing more and more APIs by the day. That's cool. So I can see a lot of the, all these are real estate specific. So anybody who's just looking at this should take a screenshot and actually look at what each one of these companies do because they're pretty cool. Um, now, the reason why I asked if Zapier works is because if you don't see your CRM on this screen, uh, there's a good chance that it still will work with uh, Zapier. Cool. That, that's exactly right. Yeah. So I'll move on here. So really, you know, we're a huge time saver. And, and again, we're, like I said, we're big on analytics. So honestly, we've, we've been tracking and we're saving agents about 28 hours of call text email time per month, which is, which is pretty amazing. It's all due to our methods, our cadence. You know, we've been around for, gosh, the last four or five years, kind of A-B testing, trying different scripts. So really what we have in place, it's proven to work. And, and oftentimes agents truly do see a 300% increase with their conversions just by incorporating agentology. So it's, it's really been a beautiful thing. Huge Wait, time saver, huge we, money saver. We were huge, well, I don't want to say huge, but anyways, we, we, got, we were an internet business for real estate. And I mean, it was basically a full-time job for me to just drum up the leads, follow up with the leads, set them up on the prospect match, and then like keep working the leads over a long haul because like most internet leads are like eight months away, 10 months away, whatever the number is, is a long time. And you have to set that time aside every week. So it, it really was, I could totally see how you save 28 hours a week. If, if you got a good number of leads, totally. It, yeah, and so true. And, and, you know, even agents admittedly with maybe only five or 10 leads per month, admittedly say they are not good at the initial conversation, right? Or they're just not up for actually calling within five minutes, nor do they have the time. Maybe they're part-time. It really works for all walks of agents' lives, if you will. 
from newbies to, you know, teams of, you know, in the hundreds. So, well, you know why it works for the smaller, so say an agent is only getting five, 18 leads a month, 20 leads a month. Um, they're very, very, uh, up and down with the timing. It's not like when you have like a hundred leads, 300 leads, 400 leads a month, you can dedicate and time block your time and be like, I have to call Monday to Friday during these time slots. But when you're only getting like a drip here and there, it's harder to manage your time. So you kind of just become reactionary instead of intentional. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's David, you know, saw that immediately because what, you know, he used to purchase leads for his brokerage and realize that his agents weren't calling or yeah. were they great at it. So sure. they what they're doing. Exactly <laughs> right. So now I actually have a solution for, you know, for cherry picking too, which we'll get to here in the next couple slides. Um, what, what's great too, this kind of gives you actually a, a look into the dashboard. Each agent or broker will have a dashboard with agentology. So we're very transparent. You can actually see when we've made these calls, uh, literally can see when that lead hit our system and how quickly we reached out. You mm -hmm. can read all the texts and email correspondence as well. So you can see the back and forth. What's really neat too, if it's, you know, if an agent's reading through, let's say the text feed and they're sitting at their desk and they feel, well, hey, you know, I'd like to take over this conversation. They're welcome to do so at any point in time. It's basically an in conversation button that agent can then take over. It stops all correspondence between us and that lead. Is there a filtering system of like these are the hot leads or like, I don't know how, there's different ways of saying it, but um, is there a way of pulling off different lists of these are the buyers, these are the sellers? They will be actually tagged, if you will, as a buyer or seller. It, it also does show where that lead came from. Many agents, let's say, are using like Follow Up Boss, but they have Realtor and Zillow and Facebook. Those all funneling to Follow Up Boss. We can tag them and, and you hmm. know show which which lead came from which source. Cool, cool. So yeah, it's, it's very easy to navigate through. We try to make the dashboard as simple as possible. And best thing too, it's mobile friendly. So you can jump on your iPhone or Android and fully navigate through without any issue. What's the refer leads you don't want? Obviously I understand what that means, but is there like you press a button and you can email it to somebody or what, what's that? Yeah, it's my favorite feature really of Agentology or one of them I should say. And I, I do have a full slide that kind of better explains, but we can jump in now. It's, it's basically a way to maximize ROI really with every lead that we qualify. Oftentimes when let's say it's a Zillow lead, it comes through, we send it back with, with excellent notes to the agent and they're reading through, they realize maybe it's just too far to travel to, maybe yeah. the dollar amount's not attractive, maybe you're going on vacation for a week, whatever the case is. Many agents just kind of toss that aside. Unfortunately, again, that's money down the drain. We don't like seeing that happen. So you hit the refer button, Agentology actually takes over we will find a suitable agent, someone within our network to service that lead for a referral fee. We actually manage the whole transaction through closing. We kind of keep that agent motivated. We what? even set up, oh, go ahead. No, that's, I'm like surprised, like what? That's cool. It's a beautiful thing. We even set up like legalities, all the paperwork, the nonsense that most agents don't want to deal with. And you know, a lot of the time it takes chasing down. We have a full team dedicated to doing that. So if the other agent that we send the lead to is able to close the deal, we'll, we'll pay the referring agent a 25% referral fee, which is great. Nice way to kind of maximize ROI on that lead that you've already paid for. Wow. Yeah, yeah that is cool. Okay, cool. And in fact, that works in reverse as well. So if a, you know, a lead comes through and um, it's, you know, we will choose another agent within our network, you may receive a lead a time or two from us as well. So it works both ways. Yeah, totally. Um, that's cool. Uh, and you have more slides after this one or is this the end of the slideshow? I just have the referral and then our pricing. This is more or less just kind of open discussion. If you had any additional questions for me. What? Yeah. Well, what is the pricing actually? Yeah. Let's just jump over to pricing. That's completely fine. So this was the referral slide. We kind of just discussed it actually right now so we can go through and jump right into pricing. So very simple. It's uh, 25 monthly, which is actually it's billed annually. So it is 300 up front. And really what that allows is us to get connected to your lead sources. We'll set up your dashboard. It allows us essentially to run the technology for the year. And then of yeah. course allows uh, you access to our referral network. So that's what the 300 entails. Yeah. What's great, there are, you know, on a monthly basis, there are no monthly minimums. So you're only responsible for actually what you use. And so as you see here, we do have a band pricing. Uh, for example, the first 50 leads, those will always be billed at $6 per lead. 
Yep. Second set, so 51 to 100, always at $5 per lead. Anything over 100 at $4 per lead. I like it. I really like that pay-as-you-go model. It's great because let's say, you know, lead gen's not a perfect science. We understand that. And, you know, many agents make, make changes right throughout the year with their lead sources, maybe turn up the ball volume on their CRMs. And so, you know, we don't want to obviously hold them to a monthly minimum. So if they, let's say the agent only generated 12 leads per month, that's, or excuse me, six, or two, two leads per month, you know, that's only $12. Mm. So it's, it's great. Man, I wish you guys existed because we were generating about a thousand leads a month um, when I was active as an agent. And man, this system would have been <laughs> so much easier for me. <laughs> Oh, I wish that I, I, I hear it every day, Danny. That's cool. I can totally see why you guys uh, are nominated as an innovator for the innovator award this year. That's cool. That's, there's, there's a lot of people that are going to be interested in this. Now um, there may be uh, an affiliate link and if so, I'll put it in the show notes and the description. Anybody who's just watching this video um, in the future, if you don't see the show notes, what's the best way for them to get enrolled with you guys? You know, you can either, you can visit the website uh, and obviously we have all of our numbers listed there. They can call me directly. I mean, we can, I can share my info with you, Danny. There's, there's multiple ways to go about it. Agentology.com definitely is probably the best way. And you can book a demo with, with one of us. And again, we can kind of further explain the process and how to get set up. It's very simple. There's about a 30 minute onboarding. And basically that's where we get connected with your lead sources. We perform a screen share, walk you through that whole setup process and properly set your expectations. And re really after that, we're up and running. It's, it's really that simple. Is there any customization, say there's an agent that focuses solely on new development and like condo launches, or maybe, maybe it's a broker owner who's doing like recruiting or, or something like that. Um, can it be a little niche? You know, we're, we're actually, we're working on that feature right now. Currently, there's a way to customize your first text that goes out. Uh, we're working on improving that to where we can kind of actually customize separate texts for buyers, for home value scripts, for your, your home value leads, excuse me, buyer leads. Um, so it's, it's in the works. It's definitely been discussed at Roundtable and our engineering team is, is currently working on it. So we're hoping to implement that here shortly. Well, no, that was a really short, concise demo. I really appreciate that. It was like right to the point. So some agents are going to totally hit it and be like, yeah, I want in on that. So hopefully they reach out. Um, I want to stop the recording, but I want to say thank you so much for being with us. When I stopped the recording, I had a couple of thoughts for you. I want to share with you though. Okay. Of course. Okay, cool. I'll be right back. Hold on. Perfect. Okay. So that was the first one. And Daniel, you're really good at uh, doing that presentation, by the way. So let me see if there's any questions before we move forward. Is it possible for Ontario? Um, okay, so there's a question that says, is it possible for Ontario? Uh, Daniel, do you guys have any agents in Ontario using it? Ontario, Canada, correct? Up yeah. in Canada? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely, we do. And we have, we have several agents and growing by the day. Yeah, so like still run it by your broker or manager because she's talking about RICO, uh, the Real Estate Council of Ontario. They're very strict on, um, you can't, have somebody calling and talking real estate, but your people aren't actually talking about the MLS or the listings specifically. They're just calling and saying, did you want to book a showing? Basically like your admin, what your admin would be doing um, is what they're doing. That's exactly right, Danny. So it's, it's really us kind of scrubbing down that lead, making sure they're actually a viable lead a human being for that matter, because there's bots out there, of course, and getting a better idea of, you know, as to what their criteria is, figuring out price points and timeframes. We're not going into detail. We won't answer any questions about like, let's say homeowners association amenities attached to that association, nothing along those lines. It's very surface level, but again, it's more or less us trying to get a good read on that lead, taking notes and passing those along back to the agents and brokers so that they're properly uh, informed and they, you know, can know how to proceed, obviously. Oh, totally. It like warms up your, your conversation, like from the agent. Um, another question says, please qualify when you charge for the lead. So what, what counts as a lead? Just, I'm assuming just every lead. 
I don't know. Yeah, you know, every lead is billable. Our, our system is unique in that it'll catch a, a bad number. So if someone, you know, inputs all fives, we'll catch that generally. So that's not a good lead, of course. Uh, but every lead is billable. If we do attempt, even if they simply don't respond within that five-day period, we'll, we'll mark that as unqualified, send it back to you, letting you know, hey, they just simply didn't respond. We'd suggest at that point, place them in some sort of drip marketing campaign, whatever you have in place to keep your name in front of them, because, of course, that's future business. So all leads count as a lead um, unless it's like XXXXXXX with a phone number and a fake email. If all of it's fake, it doesn't count? or Correct, yes. If all of it's fake, if we recognize that the number is bad, we won't attempt that lead and you won't be resp held responsible for it. Uh, how you're billed is we'll basically batch them up at the end of the month and then charge you appropriately from there, or accordingly, excuse me. Cool. Okay. Yep. I'd answer that. Uh, somebody said, if I have two different CRMs, do I forward the lead to Agentology? How, how does that part work? I'm assuming it's like an email scraper. Yeah, we can actually connect to both. So you can have multiple sources, multiple CRMs. Uh, we'll figure out routing on our end. We have a lot of flexibility uh, with that. So basically it's a combination of um, the database itself. Some of them have a backend API that they automatically integrate with and then others they'd have to work a, a roundabout way. Um, but Correct. of all the ones yeah. on that screen, they'll work. So the agent doesn't have to know how the car starts. They just have to know it'll start. Yeah, exactly. If, if, if we don't have the API in place, you know, of course there's Zapier and then, and then we use email parsing as well. So we can just plug a custom email, agentology email into let's say Sync, for example, or Boomtown. Those are two that we don't have an API with. That informs us or copies us on any new lead that hits that system. Cool. Yeah, I think that explained all that. Yep. Will the agent need to manage both CRM? Oh, that's Okay, so will the agent need to manage both CRMs? So from my perspective, what I saw was that they don't they can just kind of watch you guys work the ropes and then as soon as they want to take over, you guys are out of the picture and then that agent is now in charge and they would probably put them in their own CRM of how they manage. Correct? Correct, yes. So everyone will have, every agent who, who uses agentology will have their own specific dashboard. That's where all of this, the information is housed. That's where we sort of store your leads. We actually place them in different buckets for you. There's a pending category, qualified, unqualified, et cetera, with subcategories under each. Um, and so, yes, you can take the notes directly from that dashboard and plug those back into, let's say, Sync, for example, to keep your CRM updated. Can they just use you as their own CRM? You know, it functions more as a dashboard, not necessarily a CRM, so we don't have the um, compatibility in terms of placing someone on a drip, uh, et cetera. You can update notes. You just can't basically send out texts or make calls from our dashboard. Perfect. Right on. Uh, somebody says, does Agentology have a landing page, or I'd use mine? Uh, you'd, you'd use yours. So Agentology integrates with where your leads come from. So whether it's uh, your landing page, your website, uh, or any of the other places, they'll get those leads from the back end and then put it in the system. Correct. Yeah. All of your marketing can remain in place. We'll just basically tie into your back end of uh, the website or CRM or whatever lead gem platform you currently have in place. And they even said because of the Zapier integration, it, it can integrate directly in Facebook. So you don't even need a landing page. You can just do uh, Facebook lead ads. Exactly right. And I know Agent Locator is a big one up there. We are compatible with Agent Locator. Basically, I know there's a dashboard. From my understanding, there's a dashboard with Agent Locator. That's where we'd plug in that custom Agentology email. So that would forward all the new leads to us as, as well as they would stay in your dashboard, but it just copies us, if you will. Perfect. Now, I'm going to be recording this today, like what we're talking about. And so I'm going to follow up with everybody and send them a recording. When I do, I'm going to put out a link to all of you guys. So you and then the, three other, the two other vendors. And I'll put your contact information as well. Um, but most of them will just go directly to the website. So if there are any future questions, keep typing them. I'm going to hit play on the next vendor. Um, Daniel, thank you so much for hanging out. If you stick around the rest of the time, cool. If not, good luck on your next meeting. And uh, I'm going to... My gonna, pleasure. Cool, man. Can you just mute yourself? And then I'm going to hit play on the next one. Of course. Thanks so much for having me. And of course, everyone, please reach out if you do have additional questions. Cool. And uh, last thought, you really, I do a lot of demos with people. You really were good at it. So um, keep it up, man. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Bye. Take care. Uh-huh.
Okay, so the next one is going to be box brownie. I had to uh, wake these guys up really because they were in Australia. And uh, anyways, funny story around that. We got the recording done. I'm really happy. And they're going to explain how they take your photos and show you the before and after. And, and it's like $2 a photo, $5 a photo. There's different pricings depending on what you do. Um, but this is a really, really cool product. Whether you have professional photography or you're doing it from your iPhone, which I suggest you don't do it from your iPhone. But if you do, uh, they're going to make you look like a rock star. So let's watch this. Hey, Peter, congratulations on the Innovator Award. Uh, can you just explain what your product and product services and company is all about and how it helps real estate agents with uh, buying and selling more homes? Yeah, sure. Look, thanks, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I guess... Um, the, the idea of boxbrownie.com is that we are a digital enhancement service for property agents. So um, the, I, I guess the main thing that we do is we help people with their imagery services. The Box Brownie in particular, um, just to explain a little bit behind the name, because uh, a lot of people think that we uh, sell closing gifts as brownies. We don't in fact do that. Um, the Box Brownie was a camera that was released in 1903. You can see those there in front of you on the screen. And the idea behind uh, that camera was the first portable camera that, that mums and dads could buy. They'd go out and buy these um, for about a pound. They were colloquially known as the Box Brownie. And the slogan for the Box Brownie was, you take the photo, we do the rest. And that's really what our company is all about. Um, I guess effectively we're a, a cloud-based website. You can, you can also see that there in front of you. Uh, we have a range of products which are at the top and um, you simply sign up for free. There is no subscription, I'll say that at the outset. Uh, you just sign up, you choose the product that best suits you and I'll, I'll run you through what they are in a minute. Um, and you, you're able to uh, select the service. Most of our jobs come back to you overnight. So it's a fairly a quick and easy service as far as that's concerned. We are... Uh, currently used by 90 countries around the world. We, we service 90 countries and effectively that makes us the biggest in uh, property digital marketing around the world um, and certainly the fastest growing as far as what we do. Um, well, so first of all, I, I want to I wanna say thank yeah. you for joining us because you're, you're tuning in all the way from Australia. If people can't tell based on the yeah. accent, it's a total different time zone. So you had to wake up really early just to get on this. So... Thank you for putting in the hustle. <laughs> yeah, look, that's no drama, Daddy. Um, I'm up um, quite early in the morning anyway because uh, most of our clients are in the North America region, so I have quite a bit to do there and I don't mind it. It's, it's, it's great. Um, if you wanted to take a snapshot of what we did uh, product-wise, take a snapshot of that screen there, um, but I'll run you through what they are so you fully understand where we're at. All right. Uh, I guess at the outset, whether you are taking your own photos or whether you're using a professional photographer um, is kind of irrelevant because there will always be um, some need to take photos yourself. And this particular edit is for that. So um, on the day that you've snapped with your iPhone, with your um, point and shoot, whatever that may be, you've snapped the photo of the front of a building, we can make that look amazing. It's $1.60 and it comes back to you overnight. And it's not just the ones that already look good. So that, you know, this picture in its own right is not bad. Uh, that's yeah. a professional shot. This one would be more typical. This is taken by a property manager at a, at a property. And as you can see, the, the difference is um, stunning. You, oh. you really get some idea of what you're actually looking at. How did so, you remove all the grain? Uh, you don't have to tell me. But you, that's remarkable. Yeah. That type of shot would be so grainy. Well, that's the, and that's the, that's the idea. Like, um, we, we're able to bring out the light where you can't currently see detail. So yeah. there's there's almost seventy percent of this image that is unusable. It's really just the the internals. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'll just go forward. Um, but but we do. There's a it's a sixteen step process, so it, it, it takes quite some time. You'll notice even we straighten the walls. Um, a lot of people don't even understand um, that there's something about this image that their eye does not like. Yeah. Aesthetically, um, this this one is the one to be looking at. So, oh, and, and, and all it goes, I mean, on suites, we take them, this is a standard uh, smartphone shot, and this one just looks amazing. You, we've 
We've um, really increased the highlights in that room. Uh, this was taken with an iPhone 6, a great example of what you can do as an agent out the front of a, a property. And the second one just popped. Um, <coughs> Yeah, and I guess the thing that I'm trying to encourage agents to really consider is they, they should not be putting anything on an MLS or an aggregator website unless it's had a, this minimum treatment at a dollar sixty. Um, this is quite common where there's a dual light source. Um, cameras just don't get it, even pro cameras. Um, we can we can obviously enhance the entire image so you can see what it's all about. Um, you know, the view is really what you're selling here in the lifestyle. So, you know, for especially, the dollar sixty, it's not especially for condos because you've always got the balcony usually, and like your your focus, you're right. It will either focus on the exterior or the interior, but never both. So you guys kind of like yeah. merge the two together. Yeah, well, that's the, you know that's the that's the idea of it. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously these are the reasons why you'd use image enhancement, but for crying out loud, it's half the, half the price of a cup of coffee. Um, if you're not going to spend money on doing that as an agent, I think you've got some big yeah. problems to deal with. Now, so, the, prices, the, prices that we, the prices we just saw were in U.S., and you have uh, different pricing for Canadians and other parts of the world, too, so they can just choose what area they're in. Yeah. Well, well, you wouldn't have to. Geographically, it'll sense you depending on where you, you sign up. So you'll, see, you'll instantly see Canadian dollars, but you can automatically change up to the top right of the screen um, when you're signing. Mm. Um, yeah, so this is the second most popular edit in the world. Uh, this one is what we call Twilight Conversion. Now, um, I, I think the important thing to understand is that uh, this this can be used on professional photography. So for the people who just zoned out for the dollar sixty image enhancement because they go, oh my my photography does this, this particular edit is definitely for you. Where you know what we're looking at here is the image of an external. There's nothing wrong with that, right, Benny? I, you could easily put that on an MLS and and have no qualms about it. Yeah, I think the thing to understand is that once you convert it to Twilight um, for four dollars. This attracts up to four times more clicks on any aggregator. And oh man! A lot of people don't don't get why. Um, I, I think it's important to understand that there's something emotional about the the twilight connection. It's when um, people are returning home from work, or you're having a beer, or you're spending time with your significant others. Um, there, there is really nothing wrong with a lot of these images, but they are made look amazing at twilight. Like this is something that people really buy into. It's the one that they click on. It's, it gets them into the property. So you would do this with an external, and this external would become your hero shot. And it's, um, it, it's, like a, it's like lifestyle marketing. Uh, a lot of people are doing lifestyle videos, and there's a huge cost in that. Yeah. This is subconscious lifestyle marketing, where it's like you're sub subconsciously yeah. showing the people the possibility and it's also a showstopper when they're scrolling through their new, uh, news feed on Facebook. I mean, what going back and forth, what one stands out more? Right. Yeah, precisely. And, and it especially works on properties. Like you might have picked this house up from another agent who's been unable to move it. Uh, if you want to change it up a little on um, the aggregator, the MLS, whatever that may be, um, Zillow, whoever you're using, I would, I would simply convert it to Twilight. Um, then you know people don't see it as being this house. They, they, you know, after a while, they recognise images quite quickly. Um, as soon as you change it to twilight, it, it has that desired effect. So, um, so, you know, obviously, it just brings the house out in a different light. And you can see inside uh, the house. Like, like this will be a good shot. Yeah. See how? Yeah, we can see inside it. Like you yeah, can that, see inside it more. Deep yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it definitely has its desired effect um, in front of the purchaser. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I I would encourage that for your hero shots. Um, item removal is is a um, a growing uh, phase, I suppose. It's when you've got something at a property that uh, you know you may not want to display. So in this in particular image, we've got the the picture on the wall which says bad sex. Now, I don't have a drama with that. A lot of people would, <laughs> but for the for the sake of getting rid of it, just get rid of it. Yeah. You know, 
you'll have someone that won't won't appreciate that. So, you know, why let that stand in the way of getting someone to that property? But uh, this is more the environment that we see item removal, whereby there's a cluttered bench. The property is tenanted. They don't care that it's now up for sale. So yeah, that's an awesome take, example. Tenanted yeah. property, for sure. You know what else would be a good example, or is a good example? When a person takes a photo in a yeah. bathroom, their image is usually in the mirror and they can't avoid it. So you guys could do that too. Oh, well, we actually do that as part of our $1.60 edit. So that, no, that happens quite a bit in photography where you can't yeah. avoid it. That, yeah. that is part of the $1.60 edit where you're in the mirror. Um, so that, that doesn't even have to go to item removal. You can just put that in the $1.60 and that will move forward. But, um, you know, other examples that include this, you've got a couple of million dollars worth of condo units to sell there. Uh, you've got, you guys call that a dumpster out the front. You've got a dumpster and a car. Um, we just take them out. Um, and therefore, you know, nothing's obstructing that. You can now send that through to your marketing brochure. They can be printed up with all of the units. Um, that's a perfect example, but more often for things like this. So this is obviously, um, the people are using it as a storage space. You can't really tell a buyer as to whether it fits a car in there or not until you actually take all the clutter out. And, and now that becomes a car space. Uh, so I, th I think that the, the key areas that where you'd want to use it. Um, but uh, I'll show you some examples later where we use item removal for taking out uh, older furniture. Um, you've got an elderly client or an elderly vendor. Sometimes the furniture doesn't present um, the property in the best light, so we can remove that, that as well yes. and replace it. Uh, we do floor plans. Not uh, they're not huge over in America um, and and Canada, but Canada there you've you've got more floor plans in America, from what I understand. But the premise of this is showing a client what a, a property will look like in a professional sense. I suppose showing them the flow of the rooms. Um, well, I back. over here in Australia, I don't. Yeah. Go back to the original. Yeah, that, well, that is the original. Yeah, I, I, I okay, and then go to the that. It just looks so much better, so much cleaner. Yeah, well, I mean that's our that's our black and white. Um, the, the premise of this is actually showing our client what the space can do. But you know, we can take them from anything. We can take them from grid paper. Uh, we have them submitted to us on napkins, um, and we have a range of styles. So. That first style uh, was black and white, you can get black and white textured. This is what we call our 2D textured. I really like this because it shows things like floor coverings. Um, and they won't be exact, but they'll give people an idea as to whether the, you know, the tiles are dark or the carpet's dark. That's there. really, that's really good for, oh, so I, by the way, there's a for anybody listening, there's a huge delay in him speaking and me speaking, so we're totally cutting each other off, not intentionally. But there's, um, sorry, by the way, there's a huge benefit for exclusive listings and high-end listings. Like, I, a lot of people do this sort of thing with uh, brand new builds, but normally the floor plans are already done for that. But if you're doing like uh, an exclusive listing on a high-end property, I mean, this makes sense that you could just sketch it out, draw it out, put a little disclaimer that it's not to spec. Um, I don't know what your disclaimer yeah, is. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Well, the disclaimer is in the first one, so you can see. See down the bottom there of the screen, there is uh, floor plan furniture and fixture measurements and dimensions that are approximate right, for yeah. illustrative purposes only. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, this, this type of thing, the other, the other instance I would use it is for when you've got an apartment, people can't see the apartment from the external. Um, like that's quite a small space there, but um, there will be a buy for that and to, to show that buyer what that space does, that 3D floor plan works really well. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, so floor plans is part of it. I'm not going to dwell on copy, but suffice to say, if you give us a couple of images, these ones aren't ours, they're supplied to us, and you give us a brief detail of um, where the property is located, um, you know, four bed, two bath, double lock up garage kind of information, we will write up your copy for you. How much? And that starts um, $28, $28 and goes up, Yeah. Uh, depending on the amount of words. So it's, um, 150, 250, and 350 words. You probably only need the 150 unless you're doing a brochure. But um, that copyright service is, is there. Um, there are journalists that write that. So 
Um, that 150, that, that, that 150, 250, mm -hmm. those numbers represented number of words, not cost. Some people may have not understood with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, number of words. So 150 words, 250 words, 350 words, and um, they start at $28 and it goes up to, uh, I think it's 45 is where the 350, uh, 350 words sit. Um, but yeah, a, a really effective tool. If you're poor at writing copy, then um, I would take advantage of that. Yeah. Uh, this is the big one. I suppose this, this particular edit launched us in the US. Um, we were the first to doing it. We were certainly the cheapest, but um, there are a couple of things that set us apart from the, the players that are in the market here. And um, not, the number one thing that I'd bring home to you is the misrepresentation aspect is gone um, when you use Box Brownie. Uh, virtual staging, I'll tell you why. Um, you'll notice in all the examples here, the scale is correct. Um, the reflection is correct, the shading is correct. It's something that we worked really hard to get right. Um, uh, we know with our competitors, they're using Photoshop to do this, uh, which means that they are finding a couch at a particular angle from a magazine and they're dropping it into an image and therefore that couch won't actually sit in perspective with regard to the door or the windows. Um, but what we do is we actually measure the space out and model it as a 3D plan. And therefore, the all of the furniture that you see here sits in, in relative perspective to the ceilings, to the walls, to the, the doors. Um, it's $32 per image. Yeah. Uh, it's delivered to you. In, you get it in about 24 hours, but our, our um, guarantee is 48. Uh, I think probably the other thing I'll, I'll um, mention here, Danny, is the reason why you stage. I think a lot of new agents getting into um, property believe that you stage uh, to take the focus off the property, and, and that's um, not the not the idea at all. Um, if I go back to this this Miami sunroom, for example, a lot of a lot of agents um, have coloured eyes, like, uh, and what I mean by that is they will walk into a space and they will know exactly what you can do in this given area. But let me tell you, this, this type of room is uncommon over in Australia, certainly uncommon in the UK as well. So a lot of people looking at this space would not know as it sits what that space does. And the idea of staging is to show somebody who will be on, on that sofa at home, um, surfing their eye device, looking at the property, the, the furniture will tell them what they can possibly do with that space. And, and that, that, that I think in, in one, aspect is the idea of staging. Um, if you're using staging to hide something about the property, you've missed the point. Um, the idea of it is, is to tell a person what a space does yeah. whilst they're in the corner of their living room. So it acts as a silent salesperson for you. Um, you. You are there with Joe Smith, who's on his iPad, and you are saying, well, look, you know, feasibly, we could have a living dining area here. Um, and and this is what you do. They could always do picture in picture as well, where one picture is vacant, the other one shows the possibility. Correct. Well, I always do that anyway. Um, and I even set up um, things like an art easel in the room with the actual mm, staging yeah, on it. Yeah. So yeah. How, they, how, how that looked. Um, uh, you know, this is an example. Uh, we have stages that use our service um, and you can provide as little or as much detail. So some people just send us a blank like that, we yep. stage it. Um, it. It's thirty-two dollars per image, so you know, just whatever image you supply. Some people give us guides. You can see the design guides they've given us down in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, we want it to look like this, and we want you to put all of that furniture in. We will furnish it as best we can to match that style. Hmm. Um, I think probably the other thing to bear in mind is we only add furniture and decor. We won't add fixtures and things. Yeah, so you have a the door. No, that's correct, or a cupboard. So yeah. that's the idea of staging. Um, I'll take you really briefly for through 3D renders. 3D renders were the first automated uh, service in the world that, that looks after 3D renders, where, whereby um, you can upload a builder's file to us or a set of floor plans um, or blueprints, and we will give you a photorealistic image back of what that will look like once it's created. So this is for new builds. Uh, off the plan, things that don't exist, um, we create photorealistic e examples of what it is. It's, it's $280 and it's about seven to 14 days you get them back. Um, if you've got a unit development or you're dealing with a developer, 
Um, those jump up to about 550 and, and can work higher depending on what they are. But um, generally, that's a flat rate at 550. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. Good luck really yeah, well, there'll be yeah, there'll be a select clientele that use this, and yeah. you know, if you're in an area where new builds are going up, that that will be it. Um, custom quotes is anything else. So I've shown you most of our product range so far. These are things that you can log into our system. You can click a button. You can have them done. Um, there's a defined, uh, I guess, guideline for our editors to follow. Uh, it's delivered back to you. Anything else sits in our custom section. So we get quite a lot of these where uh, the broker is having trouble selling this house because the front of the house is baby blue brown and it's not appealing to a lot of buyers. So, so quite often the buyer will demonstrate to potential sellers what it might be with a freshener. So we get a lot of these type of jobs coming through. Um, just, I suppose, anything that sits outside of our product range. Uh, this is a house in LA where uh, it was taken on a terrible day, but the furniture was in. So the photographer came back and reshot it, and it was taken on a perfect day, but there was no furniture in. So the question posed to us was, can we take the perfect day and add the furniture from this image into this one, which we did. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you know, this, this job here is a perfect example of a custom job. Um, here's one where uh, this is a house in the Hollywood Hills, uh, fed in for, from the middle. Uh, the owner wanted us to clean it up to demonstrate what it would look like with a freshener. This is the same house. Please renovate the internals. Um, you know, it, it's hard to imagine that space. Wow, yeah. So we, we took photos of the kitchen and completely renovated it. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, I could see some people dipping into the custom stuff. Most people are going to use the, I mean, the first five things that you showed or whatever the number was, was pretty simple. You have a photo, yeah, that's up, right. upload the photo, and then 24 hours later, it's done for you. So um, it, that's awesome. The I could totally see a lot of, it. most agents should be using this, even if they have a photographer uh, to enhance those current photos, yeah. especially if they're doing any form of online marketing. Now, uh, I know we have um, an affiliate link and I get some uh, like a $10 credit or something. I'll make sure to type that out in the show notes. But for anybody who's watching this video, yeah, what's yeah. the best way for them to reach out to you and start using your service? Yeah, so I'll just, I'll take you to our website um, just quickly here. Um, you can see this is how the website would look. Now, all, all you would have to do is go to the sign up for, for free button in the top right hand corner. Yeah, click on that. Add your details. Um, I'll just log in. That's cool. So take note of the phone number. Most people just head right onto the website, create your free account. Um, if you see the show notes, we'll have a description that gets you. It's like a five or ten dollar credit, so you can test things out. And um, yeah, I appreciate your time with us. We're going to have you and two others on the show when we air it. So I appreciate you connecting with me early and that we got it done. So thank you so much. And I'll get you a copy of this video as well because maybe you can use it in the future. Oh, that'd be amazing. Look, thank you so much for having me, Danny. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for sticking around late this afternoon to, to chat to Australia. Great. Perfect. So if I was a broker owner, I would caution my agents. Like if you have a listing that is full of brown grass from your dog, like I wouldn't Photoshop that out. Like don't try and hide the blemishes. But what you want to do is you want to uh, exaggerate um, the possibilities. Right, so that uh, the image remover, removal, if you have a uh, tenanted property, perfect example, like uh, simple things. So use your common sense. If there's a hole in the wall, don't get them to patch it in the photo and then leave the hole in the wall in your actual listing. Um, but basically that said, that product is really cool. You just take your photos, upload it, 24 hours later, you got uh, marketing material. Uh, that's definitely a showstopper. So let's see what questions we had. Does editing stuff out on the pictures increase its size? Um, the size of the room or the size of the file? I'm assuming you mean room. And on the surface, yeah, if you remove the junk, it would draw people's eyes to the benefits of the room for sure. Uh, furnishing an empty home, virtual staging, very cool. Yep, we're allowed to do virtual staging in Treb. Question. Um, that's a question for Treb. I don't know. Like. Um, 
Uh, he had the idea of when you had a, a, a vacant property of having it on an easel in the room so you could use it in your pre and post marketing, but maybe not directly on your local MLS. That's a really good question. Um, and she says, no, the size of the file. Uh, I don't know what the size of the file is that you get in return. I would assume whatever fi size of file you give them, it should probably be a roughly around the same when you get it back. But if you have a question on that, um, they have algorithms to squash file size as well. So you can uh, make that in your notes when you upload your file. Cool. So he's not actually here to answer the questions. That's why I took the liberty because he's in Australia sleeping. Speaking of Australia, I'm going to move on to our next one. So we're definitely going to go past the hour because um, this next one was about 18 minutes in length, the video. So we're going to be about, uh, about 18 more minutes. So I'm going to hit play on this and take a look at Jiggler. This is really cool. So if you took the photos that you used on Box Brownie, these enhanced photos, now picture taking those photos from Box Brownie and then using them on a product like this. Hey there, so we are with Ray Wood. Say hi, Ray. Hi, Dan, how you doing? Hey man, thank you for joining. And uh, I'm really glad that you're with us because you're part of the recipients of the Inman Innovator Awards in the technology department. So Correct. there's a number of technology companies that are dedicated to real estate agents that are emerging and you are one of those. So I was hoping what you could do is just kind of share us a demo of what your product's all about and maybe even talk about how you even ended up on that list to begin with. I'd love to. I'd love to. Thank you. And thanks for the opportunity, Dan. I'm a, I'm a big fan of what you do and, and follow your work. Um, there's, there's a lot happening in the real estate technology space and there's some, uh, there's some pretty big players involved. You've got companies like Compass and, and Zillow and, and quite a few, well, I guess they've gone beyond startups. Uh, that, that are in, in this space. Uh, Jiggler is essentially is a creative tool for, a creative marketing tool for real estate agents and uh, agents basically everywhere. Uh, we've got, um, we've got basically clients all, all around the world and, and it's growing quickly. And it started a few years ago with my frustration uh, as a former real estate agent and now I'm involved in real estate coaching and marketing, but it started, it started out because I got so frustrated with the whole idea of coming up with a great idea and being unable to execute it. So here's a good flyer. Here's a, here's a, here's a cool just listed, just sold idea. And we've got, a, there's a fair bit of real estate DNA running through our company, the startup partners. And, and we all had the same, we all had the same idea and the same frustration. So fortunately technology's advanced to the point where we can have this online creative tool. So, Anybody can jump in and grab an account. You just need to go to Jiggler, J-I-G-G-L-A-R.com mm -hmm. and you can set up a free account and you can access a heap of, heap of free templates. So here's something that, uh, here's, here's something that, that, uh, or this, this, this is the get listings page. If you're, if you're interested in jumping in and getting listings, one of the things that, for example, you can access here is, is a, is a two page report. So a front and back. Uh, page report. So let's say you want to make this Toronto. Uh, you can you can customize the whole thing. You can take out photos. I can put somebody else here into this photo. So the whole idea is that it's just easy to drive. And and I maintain if if essentially you, you can drive a Facebook page, you can drive this. So here again, if I want to make this look a bit cooler, I can give that a white background. I can keep it. And I can jump in and I can add somebody into I can I can completely customize it, I guess, is is what I'm saying. So that's cool. So like all the templates are already pre done. So that that's what holds up a lot of agents when they're staring at a blank screen and they don't even know how to use Adobe Illustrator or something like that. And there are other products on the market that are like drag and drop design, but this is drag and drop design dedicated to real estate. So you've got all these different categories of templates already done up. How many, Absolutely. How many templates do you think you have? Uh, there's about 200 templates at the moment and they're growing all the time. Uh, yep. here's, so this, this is the front page of this report just to finish and the back page is just shows your credibility in the, in the area. Toronto, you can customize it. You can put in your different sales and things like that. So it's, 
It's like what we call, I guess, is WYSIWYG. Dan, what you see is what you get. You can quickly change things. You can throw logos in and do whatever you like. So um, the other thing you can do is you can cross over, and this is where, this is sort of my laboratory, I guess I call it, we call it my jiggles, but it's where I've created things that I'm working on at the moment. So um, here's, uh, here's somebody that we work with. I've been able to uh, jump in and grab this Instagram post, for example. So I like the idea of a transparent, uh, somebody on a, on a transparent background. You, you can change it. Uh, if you want to make this read coming soon, you can quickly jump in and change pretty well everything. Every, every element is, is really easy to, to shift around. So, and then once you had it, you could save that as a template so that going yeah. forward, you could just change out the address and the picture, but everything else would stay the same. 100%. So there's, yeah. I just did a little test on Facebook, one versus two, and this one was the most popular. So this is probably the one that we're going to be doing, but uh, <laughs> we'll be creating an Instagram and a, and a uh, Facebook post as well. So what I can do here is I can, we call these jiggles, right? The company's name is Jiggler. So um, <laughs> we, call it, we, call it, we call these jiggles. Uh, so yes, I'm saving my work. So that quickly saves my changes. Then what I can do is I can quickly download it and I can do it as a PDF if I want to print it. Something, say if I want to print it in the office, I'll use this standard uh, office PDF. I'll use a print commercial that's got uh, trims and uh, cut marks and, and specific mm. things on it. Yeah, and just say one. if somebody wants to do like a, um a coming soon direct mail campaign. They could actually yes. save that file and send it to yep. the printer. Yep. So, and there's the, there's the JPEG that I've just downloaded. So you can up, you can upload that straight into your Facebook, onto your Facebook page or Instagram if, if you wish. So that happens, that happens very easily. So the whole idea really is to be able to, is to be able to access, uh, it works better in Chrome, by the way. If you're signing up, make sure you go to Chrome, but, You've got a whole range of, uh, of things here. I'll show you one of our most popular ones, Dan, just quickly, because sure. uh, this, is, this is proving to be um, a real winner. Uh, and we work with a guy who basically used this one template to do more than 250000 in his first year in, in real estate, which is a pretty amazing effort. And, and it's this street sign flyer here. So if you're watching this or listening to this and you want to get more listings, and I just think, I think it's great working with buyers, but my, my belief is that if you've got listings, you'll have all the buyers you ever want. So um, I'm a big fan of, of getting in and controlling the listings. So if I change the name of our street to Dan Wood Boulevard, very famous street here in Toronto, and I can quickly change that. I can, I can create whatever I want to do there. Uh, I can get that sizing right for a start and I can do that. I can put Dan's photo in there and Three words close enough. quickly change that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do that one. There's Tom Ward. G'day, Tom. <laughs> it's Tom from Utah. So, um, I hope he doesn't mind me using his, uh, his information. I can, I can switch out a logo here very quickly and easily. I can just, I can just grab that. I can I can paste it into a shot, or I can just go straight up here into my image tools, and I can grab a library. Uh, I mean, I can grab a, a logo, company logos, so it, I can grab. Is there them. stock photography built in, or is it all the agent's photos? It's going to be soon. We're 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 looking in the next incarnation in the next couple of months. There'll be free photography uh, built in. Cool. So um, the other thing you can do with this is that. I can customize this to my colors. So I should have shown you that first off. So this is a pretty cool feature. So let's have a look here, my agency settings. I'm back in my account now. And let's say I am a Keller Williams agent, right? So there's my Keller colors, the red, the gray. Uh, I save changes. So if I want to go here to a flyer, I get back into, back into my dashboard and I want to jump into a flyer here, say I want to do this just sold flyer. Oh, I like that, just sold flyer. I quickly click on that and I go over to this agency colors tool over here. I click it and it brings up the, the color colors I've, I've pre-loaded. I've pre, uh, and oh, bam, just like that, it's, it's straight in there. So um, 
Uh, so yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty excited about the way that this is working, and you can see just within seconds here, you can you can totally change uh, everything that you're looking to do to um, to make it you know way easier to use, and that's that's the whole that's the whole um, I guess the the big attraction that that agents are absolutely loving with Jiggler is that they can get in and change things and and uh, get what they want, get in, get out, do it quickly, and uh, cool. download and get them printed and get them out into their market. Yeah, I love it. I love how like the templates are already designed specific for real estate. Can you go show what the different categories were? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll just get out here. It's just going to ask me for a while. There we go. So the categories that you have here are um, the, the leasing ones, which are coming soon. We've got a whole lot of blank templates if you want to create something, whether it's DL Portrait, A4, Instagram, Facebook, or even a Facebook cover, you mm. can do that. Um, in fact, uh, and yeah, you, you've got your agent profile, and this fly has been very popular. Why people sell with, say, Dan Wood, and you can bring up all of your, all of your stats in here. Hey, uh, that this one you're pulling up right now, that'd be good for your admin every month. They could just update the numbers and yep. then now you have something fresh for your Facebook to post yep. or whatever. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, people love a good infographic and you can, when you can quickly edit, edit something like this, it's, uh, it's, it's just absolutely ideal to, to get it out. One of the big things we've noticed and a lot of the feedback from agents, Dan, has been around the pre-listing kit. So one of the, uh, one of the uh, tools that we use in a pre-listing kit is you've got the selling roadmap, which takes people step by step, but this two-page questionnaire, uh, which has been very, very popular, you can, you can customise this to your office, you can change it, and I'll show you what the back looks like as well. So what influenced you to buy the property? These are great things to, set, to send in prior to, I've got to save it, it's telling me to save. Mm. I'll just call that a test. Um, yeah, because a lot of people were losing their work, so we made sure we, uh, we set up a save function very quickly, so <laughs> it just helps you. And you've got other details here, so you can create, you can create your information, and basically everything's, everything's quickly editable, which is fun. Yeah, so, that's um, cool. Yeah, I like just playing in the, in the, in the sandbox in, with, with the blanks because you can, quickly, you can quickly grab an image here and if I go into blank, let's say I want to do, let's say a Facebook cover, okay, for, for my Facebook page. Um, and and it's, got a, it's got a very cool clipping tool. So I'll show you how that works because um, what I want to do is I want to, I want to put an image into this shape. So this, this tool lets me do that and I can make it go full width. And so you can see how that image essentially is, or that shape is taking up the whole of the space that, that I want to occupy. So now I go to this tool here, click paste image into shape. And I might want to get, hmm, what's something cool here? Maybe. Ferris wheel. Could be like a, that city bottom right with the Ferris wheel, or is it not long oh, yeah. enough? Okay, yeah, let's have a look. Let's try it. There you go. So that yeah. just pastes straight in there like that. You can see how how you can edit it a little bit um, or, or do something else. One of, the, one of the things you can do here is where you've got a contrast, um, you, can, you, can, you can use it and then you can paste. One of the great things I love doing, I'm just going to make that a little wider. That's copied straight into that, into that area. One of the things that you can do is you can put some, put some type. I just click on this type text tool here and, you know, Raywood jiggler.com. So I can grab that and again, I can just make it whatever size I want, whatever font that I want. That didn't make much of a change because there we go. Let's say I use that font. But basically they could make their Facebook banner, like their business business card, for example, could have their, their name, their photo, their contact info. You can do anything you want. Yeah, yeah. you can essentially, you can essentially do anything you want. So. Uh, if I wanted to change, say, the colour of that font, because maybe it's going to look better on a white background, 
I can simply go in there like that and make it like that. Yep. And then change it. So, um, so, so agents, they, when the uh, agent gets a brand new listing, they could update their banner, Facebook banner with yeah. the listing in the background and then the address in the bottom right or something. Well, that's, that's absolutely right. But you can jump straight back into the social media tools and do that. That's, that's a really good point. You can jump into your social media tools just here and you can grab a just listed. Here's a cool, here's a cool just listed. Uh, and you can get the image that you want. Watch how quickly, watch how quickly I can change this image. So I'm in the template. I click on that. I click delete and I grab an image here of here's a house that I was using before. I can put that in there. Now I can make that larger. Make it fill up the whole thing just by making it, making it that size. And we've got fence down the bottom here, so I want to sort of cover that up. But first, I want to move this to the bottom. So I just use this stack tool here, and I'm able to quickly put that to the bottom. This is another mm. cool. Check this out as well, Dan. This is pretty cool. This is a transparency, a transparency oh, yeah. tool here. So I can make that solid white, or I can make it disappear. Yep. So sometimes in the mean, just right in the mid range there, you need something that's going to help you, help you stand out. So I uh, want to get rid of this guy here. And I want to put somebody else in there. So it's simply a matter of going like that. And again, now see, she's not on a transparent background. The one some you, um, this is a, this is a function that Jiggler does not have. You'll need to be able to get that. But any graphics person, you could find somebody on Fiverr who, who'll do that for you for 10 bucks. Then you've got it. Yep. for all time and, and you can use it, but that's it. <laughs> for people that don't know, um, to have your photo with the background cropped out like this, this one right here, it's a PNG file with a transparent background. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've used in there. So I can change. You look way better than you, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 so that's what we call presentation and marketing, isn't it, Dan? Something like that. <laughs> Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's easy. So you like obviously it like a lot of people would compare it to Canva, whereas the difference is that this has already got all of the real estate templates done for them and Canva they'd have to reinvent the wheel and basically outsource somebody else to uh, design like just listed, sold, um, open house, the feature sheets, the Facebook banners, like like you said, you got over two hundred templates and more to come. Um well, it's we're great. adding we're adding new templates all the time. Canva Canva is a pretty awesome tool, uh, but it's it's not um, it's not real estate specific. It's it tries to be all things to all people. And, and mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, it's a it's it's a great tool, but they are not real estate agents. We are. We know our industry very very well. And uh, here's Craig Rowe at Inman. Um, he probably put it best. Uh, here's. Here's, um, here's a quote, Jiggler offers more editing freedom and an easier way to edit individual page assets than Canva. It's also focused strictly on real estate agents. So mm -hmm. we're not, we're not out, out there helping accountants or dentists or chiropractors or lawyers or car dealers. We are strictly focused on the, on the real estate industry and that's, what, that's, uh, that's our thing, that's what we know. Uh, and we're continually, continuing to innovate with, with these ideas to to help our, our Jiggler agents uh, win more listings and make more sales. That's the mission. That's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm sure most people that see this, they'd be like, uh, yeah, I kind of want that. So you said there's a free, the free demo or uh, what's yes. the pricing like? What's yep. the yeah, it's, well, you can sign up for, for you, you can sign up for free. If you want to upgrade to access all of the templates and also keep all your jiggles permanently, it's uh, forty-seven dollars a month. I think that's soon going to thirty-nine dollars US. A month. You're right. So, so the, the um, pricing might change because this video, I'm hoping, is uh, has a long shelf life. So if somebody is watching this in two years, obviously the pricing might change. But there is a free access point right now where they could just uh, try it out to test the waters and then see, like, yeah. There will always be a free. There will always be a free uh, a, a free account uh, option, Dan, because we want. You know, like you wouldn't drive, you wouldn't buy a car without driving it and checking yeah. it out. Um, it's the same a little bit with software. I want to see how it works. Is this a good fit for me and my business? Here's here's one interesting thing as well about about the cost of creative and 
And, you know, you and I over the years have spent an awful lot of money on getting stuff designed, right? So yeah. um, I packaged up a lot of these top designs and, and sent them to a friend of mine in Melbourne, Australia, who's a, who's a graphic design artist. She, she heads up a, a, a company there. She estimates the average cost of producing one template, the average cost, and we've got some pretty cool templates that would be, you know, two or three grand, but the average cost is about 750. So we're only in our third month and we've already had 10,000 downloads. So if I, if I multiply 10,000 by, wow. by 750, we've already saved agents seven and a half million dollars. So I'm, I'm, I'm delighted that we've built a better mousetrap in the industry. Um, and i and I'm delighted that we're able to save agents big money. It's, it's not just the money saving though. The fact is you can customize it. See, I can customize this. I can jump back in and I can, I can update that anytime I want. But the beautiful thing about it is, is the time, you know, like let's get a flyer out today. Let's get the phone ringing. Um, you know, let's, let's go to our, our street sign flyer here. Let's get this out. So in just a couple of minutes, I can create this, I can customize it, I can download it, I can print it, and I'm getting it out into my neighborhood. It's just rapid communication, and it's what people are looking for. So, um, and, and I love how it's for online and for print. Also, yeah. uh, with, with the world of social media that we live in, and, and people, they constantly have to be posting, it means they constantly have to be creating content, and yeah. because they don't, what they end up doing is they share other people's content. And yeah. I mean, it'd be so much better for you to create and share your own, Yes. Um, and this totally removes that hurdle. Yes, to uh, 100% agree. You've got you've got so many options here that you can you can jump in and do something different and and you know pretty much create create the look you want. If you don't like that Ooh. that that color there, you can simply make it like a blue. Yeah, and I don't like it. Scale that's it a perfect up. Instagram. So yeah. yeah, that sort of thing. So. It, it's a lot of the great feedback we're getting from agents is that it's letting them, they, 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 one of the common comments that I get is that they didn't realize how creative they were. Mm -hmm. So um, we kind of feel like we've, li we've liberated graphic design for real estate agents with, with proven powerful templates that, uh, that work and connect with their market. Man, that was a perfect quick little demo. I love how you're able to concisely share what the product's about. Um, so what I want to do is I want to record this and I'm going to include it. So I'm doing a multi-part series where we're interviewing uh, the Innovator Award uh, people that got nominated. And I'm, I'm going to try and do three per session. So okay. uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, which is an yep. hour. Yep. So yeah, that was a good amount of time. I uh, totally think people are going to be interested in this. And if a person is interested, uh, obviously they can see the URL up at the top, but I'll just spell it. It's J I G G. L A R dot com. Jiggler dot com. That's me. That's awesome. So there we go. A big thank you. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, now I want to move to Australia. So way to go, Ray. Let me minimize that. Really, really cool product. Uh, if you're in the constantly pushing Facebook ads, Instagram ads, you're doing blogging, email marketing, uh, you definitely should be taking a look at that product. Uh, I like how it's uh, real estate specific. I kind of wish in that example, um, we showed more of, of the 200 templates. So I want to suggest to Ray make a, a page that shows all of the templates or like a preview of like a the top 100 templates or something like that. That'd be a cool blog. Um, Ray, are you here, by the way? Yeah, buddy, I'm here. How you doing? Cool. Hopefully you like that feedback. Um, so when we looked at the that category, is great, that is a great idea. That, yeah. that is a super cool idea uh, that okay. I that I just came up with myself yesterday. <laughs> so thank <Nice>. you. <clears throat> okay. So somebody was saying you should have used their logo <laughs> instead of the. I think you used Coldwell Banker as your example. Um, is this uh, print ready for newsletters? Um, yeah, it is print ready. Um, totally. Um, Jiggler creates print, it's print ready for newsletters, so you can print it on your own printer. You can cr even create your own direct mail letters. We've got some direct mail letters coming out as well. Actually, we've just, if you check out the, uh, um, we, we've just released a, a really awesome newsletter, a four page newsletter, which uh, you can have a lot of fun with as well. So um, it's the, it's, it's, it just gives agents the opportunity to create uh, cool tools and do it quickly uh, at, at almost zero cost. And the infograph graphics that you guys do, like those are expensive to make. I mean, yeah. a, a, a good yeah. infographic and to have that done as a template. 
Uh, yeah. Somebody said they noticed uh, Jiggler.com is on the bottom of all of the templates. Can can they omit those? Yeah. And you, yeah. you responded, yeah, you can you can totally remove it or delete it or change it to be your own website. So, yep. Every, yeah, totally. Every every image, Dan, you can click and delete so, so every template is a blank. So there's yeah. nothing on there that you can't. Exactly, because I saw the first example was like of a, a, a two-page report and on the front cover was a guy surfing, which would be awesome, except for um, where I'm from, that image wouldn't work. So you can just remove that image and apply one that relates to your local area. So, well, you, in your case, you could do something like ice fishing. <laughs> God, <laughs> yes, I could do ice fishing. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool, man. I, you're, that's a really, really, really cool product. So thank you for doing that. I know we're 20 minutes past time now, so I appreciate everybody hanging out. Um, Ray, I want to get you a copy of the video as well. When I do the email. Thank you. Very cool presentation, by the way. Congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. And so I want to include your contact info, but most people will just end up going to uh, jiggler.com and you won't even know that they came from me because they just registered. So uh, hopefully I do get some more eyeballs because you guys deserve them. I'm sure you will. Thanks, buddy. Okay, Ray. Uh, thanks for hanging out, too. And everybody else, thank you all. I'm going to do, do round two, our next session. We're going to interview three more of the Innovator Awards with demos just like this. And you can pick and choose what you think will help with your individual business. So till the next one, thank you very much. Hey, if you want to close more real estate transactions, get more buyer leads, and get more seller leads, click this button right here it'll take you to our real estate group coaching page. Also, if you like this video and want more, you can subscribe by pressing this, or you can check out some of my past videos here. Enjoy.